Okay, hold on guys, gotta turn the music down. We just had the purest moment at, at Dutch Bros. This sweet boy serving us was singing Take It Easy by Surfaces, which if you don't know, is one of my favorite songs ever. I adore that song so much. And they were playing it and I was dancing in the car before we got up to the window. And then we get up to the window and we're like leaving and he's like, drive safe guys. Start route to 9732 South Fox Estate. Damn, thank you, girl. No, we're going to the Goodwill outlet. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but it's on the way to your brother's house. Okay. Anyways, so um, <laughs> he starts singing it. And he's like, take it easy. And it was like so fucking cute. I was like, oh, my God, you're so pure. You're probably like your mom's uh, like prized possession. Like you're probably her prized jewel as her son. Probably such a sweet boy. I always imagine when we go to Dutch Bros, fun fact, that they are like little college kids or little high school kids. And I always say like that's somebody's child when we go there. And so be nice to them. You know, like it, when we go anywhere, like any of these little fast food places or, uh, you know, so restaurants, anything. I always, especially when they're like kids, it's like that's somebody's kid. Like be nice to them. Be nice to all these people who are out here working at these places like She's it sucks right always now always a nice one when it comes to little children <laughs> at any kind of restaurant any kind of because that's, that's somebody's store. child and they're cute and we always tip them and they're just really cute anyways what we got babe you got the we got the same thing right yeah it's like the caramel pumpkin brulee brew. he got cold brew. Cold brew? cold brew cold brew you got the cold brew yeah. honestly it tastes the same as mine yeah, yeah. Mm, nope, mine's better. Um, I got the caramel pumpkin brulee um, breve, and I got it with oat milk. Bomb. And we got the salted caramel soft top. Bomb. So right now, we have been out shopping, and we are going to go to the Goodwill outlet. I am super excited. Or it's Goodwill clearance. I don't even know. My arm hurts, y'all. I'm sorry. She ain't buff like that yet, okay? So we a little, we a little comfy cozy, because I don't got a tripod either. So you guys are on my phone. So sorry's Just sorry's all around. So... Yeah, we're going to the Goodwill Outlet. I'm super excited because I have wanted to go there for multiple years coming to Las Vegas. I would always see it and because it's like on the road, on the freeway when you're going to the strip, like you see the sign. And I've always wanted to go there and nobody wants to come to Las Vegas and go to Goodwill except for me because I love to go thrifting and we're just, we're going to go. I'm super, super excited to show you guys and hopefully we get some goodies and um, I can show you guys a haul i don't know if i'm gonna be able to film in there from what i have seen a lot of youtubers that go to these goodwill clearance stores are never allowed to film like they get really angst like antsy and upset about people filming so if we're not allowed to film totally fine i won't film um i hope it's one of those where everything's in the bins my dad will be so jealous because we have always said we want to go to one of those where you could buy clothing by the pound i hope it's like that like i'm so juice to go you guys don't understand because it's like priced by the pound of clothing and i just really want to go like i'm super excited i'm super pumped i hope it's like everything i'm imagining and if not we will find one that is everything i'm imagining but we're on the freeway so we're gonna head over there and i will see you guys babe's getting gas honestly that was one of the craziest experiences um so it was literally okay if you love to go thrift shopping that thrift shopping is a blood sport no, like it is something else i could not film in there it was literally so many people and they were like yelling at people when they were doing stuff they weren't supposed to be doing oh my god you guys like it was freaking intense. Like, it's too bright. I'm sorry. I need my sunglasses. I still love you guys. But basically, they were yelling at people, like, who were doing what you weren't supposed to be doing. So, the rules that I learned while I was there, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, is that you can't touch anything until they bring out all the bins for that row. 
So there was a bin of, there was like a row and it would be like 11 bins in the row of like clothing, right? Or shoes or household items, whatever. However many bins were in the row. And when they were going to replace it, they would take each one, one by one. They would move all this stuff into one bin and then take the bin. Move the next bin like that, right? So it was like, doot, 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 doot. So they would take everything from this bin, put it in this bin. Then take everything from this bin, put it in that bin. And this bin would go. And then this bin would go. And there would still be that bin. And then everything in that bin like that. So they were doing that and then they brought everything out and everyone was like silent and the people were just like shoving their way up there to be first like be in front of the thing and um it was just like crazy and then all of a sudden it like gets dead quiet in there there's no music playing there's no background sound like it's not a luxurious shopping experience y'all it's just like get your gig and get out basically so it got dead silent. Everyone's like pushing all to the front to get to the front of the bins. And then they put the last bin out and all you hear is like, <sighs> and like all this noise and everyone's like digging through it. And like, you hear people like yelling like, hey, hey, and I was just like, what is going on? And so apparently they're like digging through to try and get the best items or whatever because apparently a lot of people are doing this and then wholesaling stuff i was like talking to a lady and she was super funny like my she was hilarious she was like um her friend had quit her job and just was going to these basically and selling all this stuff on poshmark like people aren't in there shopping just for themselves personally like i was and like my boyfriend was we were just having fun in there shopping for ourselves and just we wanted to experience it and i love thrift shopping so i thought it'd be fun it's like thrift shopping on steroids uh but there's a lot of people in there that are actually buying and um selling things like on poshmark on depop whatever so they were very like intense and like sassy and mean um <laughs> Sorry, he was like getting ski. They were like very intense and like sassy and mean. And I just like wasn't like, I don't know. I wasn't expecting it. But you met the sweetest old couple. Huh? Yep. Uh, yeah. He met the sweetest old couple. Wait, I can't put you on camera. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to leave. Um, I mean, for real, because I looked set up. You met the sweetest old couple and they had like a dog. She had her dog in a stroller and it like said the dog's name. The dog's name is Abby. Mm -hmm. And it like had the dog's name embroidered with like grandma flowers and it was yeah. just it was everything it was every it was the cutest thing ever funny thing it was actually a co-worker that did it for them <gasps> the dog is a poodle mix something else. I forgot what oh, it was so cute and the dog was 15 like girl your skincare routine please because it looked like a puppy uh it did it looked like a puppy yeah it didn't look a day over age of three years old because that dog was like so sweet it was so cute but yeah, okay, I'll tell you guys the rest, like, when we get home, because we're about to go to Sally's, but girl, it was an experience. We were in there for, what, two hours? Almost two hours. Yeah, Over we were in there for almost, like, two hours? Over two hours. Over two hours. Like, it was intense, but we're going to give you all a haul when we get home and everything. All right, y'all, here's the outfit of the night. It's this little red dress, these little black strappy heels, some bracelets, and a little pepper necklace. I'll show you my makeup in the car, because the lighting, like, sucks in here. And the mirror is too small, but that's our outfit. Okay, guys, I just want to show you the makeup look. Um, but the le can I see your phone? Yeah, actually, I was about to do that too. Like, yeah, I just want you guys to see my makeup. It's been a minute since I've done my makeup now. Oh wow, where we go? Okay, so there's my makeup. It looks so much better in person, and it's annoying that it's not showing, but pretty singing cute. We're gonna go to dinner, and maybe I'll get you guys some clips in there because it's a really cool like trendy-ish, Instagram-ish restaurant, so I can't wait to show you. Okay, babes, so we are back from dinner. You can finally see my makeup look super cute but i wanted to film my haul before i got all comfy and cozy for the night okay babes so i got 14 items for 16.50 so each pound of clothing was a dollar 49 i believe so the first thing i got is actually for my mom but also kind of for me um and it's this beautiful like hand woven purse it's like absolutely stunning and I thought, instantly thought of like Nefertiti when I saw this, so I thought it was super cute, but it also is like a nice little purse. I'm either going to keep this, give it to my mom, or put it up on my Poshmark or Depop for one of you guys if she doesn't want it. 
um because i just thought this was too beautiful to like go to waste and go wherever they send them after the goodwill clearance like this is so beautiful a woman had grabbed this before me and i was like so sad about it and then i saw her put it down and so i just went and asked her like hey do you still want this or can i take it and she's like oh no totally you can have it like i had picked too many purses i just think this is actual like stunning artwork as a bag and i think it's just you know what i'm saying like ugh. like it's very beautiful and i think it's just one of those things that is so unique and i really just had to have it Someone will be very happy with this. You guys let me know what you think down below. Should I keep it? Should I give it to my mama? Or should I post it for you guys to buy? You let me know. So excited about this item because I actually saw this at Target and they didn't have my size in it when I wanted it. So loved finding it. It's this little like pink darling baby doll dress. So stinking cute. Um, I mean just adorable. I'm sorry I'm not doing a try on guys but I'm super tired. It's like 11 30 at night you'll see me wear this stuff okay um super cute though like super darling you can wear it like off the shoulder or up the shoulder which i'll probably wear it that way because i think it looks more baby doll and girly but super cute and feminine i've been trying to change my style to more feminine style and that was just right up my alley next i picked up it's like the good old she gave me good old velour juicy vibes um and i think the brand is old navy yeah the brand is old navy and it's this velour little sweater super cute see kind of oversized which is what i wanted because out here you can still wear like shorts for a little bit even though it's like fall right like i could still wear a pair of shorts so i wanted it to be kind of oversized to tuck into some jean shorts with some white sneakers for a little running errands kind of outfit or to wear like with my crocs you know just thought it'd be really cute and it would keep me pretty warm and cute next <laughs> i told you guys pink is my favorite color i picked up this adorable which sisono los angeles i don't know what the brand is but this is super cute it's just like a little fur jacket um again knowing myself i'm literally just gonna toss this on and be like oh have to go to the store you know like and i just thought this was super cute and furry and girly and something i would definitely wear because i love these kind of things Next, I picked up these men's uh, PJ pants from Old Navy because you can never have enough PJ pants. They're just like the Christmassy ones. I thought they'd be cute. Tis the season, you know, um, and they're going to be warm and comfy flannels and they're good quality. Next, I picked up this really cute green sweater. Again, this is Target brand. I think it's Universal Thread and the other dress is Wild Fable. So this one is Universal Thread. Another oversized little sweater to wear, perfect to wear for work or something like that, like with a pair of jeans and, you know, it's kind of cropped so you can wear it with like a high-waisted jean and a little boot and it would look really cute. I actually think it would look really cute with those combat boots and like a light wash jean. I think that would be a vibe, you know? Next, I picked my boyfriend up this shirt by Large is the brand, LRG, and it's just like a, I don't know, like a tape player kind of vibe shirt i don't really know but he's just gonna use it for a pj shirt i just thought it was really cool and unique and i thought he would like it and he did so grabbed it for him next i picked up this little throw on hooded denim jacket and it's from forever 21 and i mean i just think it's like super cute um definitely something i would wear and just like toss on Oof. it's got pockets you know you can run out of the house in it super chill nothing too fancy um and it's got these little like gray cuffs on the sleeve let me show you guys yeah it's like little gray cuffs so super cute and just like a simple jacket i could throw on and wear to work is what i was thinking uh but i picked this up because it's super cute um it's red and it's kind of like a suede-ish material Thought it would be really cute to just wear on its own, like tucked into a pair of pants with a red lip, slick little buns, some gold hoops, and like little black booties or something else fun like that. I just thought it'd be super cute. Or I could wear this over like a black slip dress with some thigh high boots, like just dress up or dress down any outfit with these little shirts. Next, I, like I said, I'm trying to dress more feminine. So I picked up this really darling like pink sweater. I just thought that I could wear this over some of my little slip dresses and just give you a very like 
Elle Woods legally blonde type vibe moment you know <laughs> that's exactly what I was envisioning with this or like wear this with like a little skirt and a little tank top and just be very cute and girly because I have some like cream colored knee-high crocodile boots cannot wait to show them they're coming they're coming and I got them in black as well so I was envisioning wearing this with like those cream colored boots and like you know jeans and a little top or something I don't know I just thought it'd be super duper cute and like so feminine and girly and it's really soft really nice quality sweater I honestly don't know why I had to buy this shirt I just actually had to buy this shirt um and like my boyfriend was laughing but he also agreed that like I kind of had to get this shirt it is this what's the brand David Taylor oversized men's like Hawaiian shirt and it was so buttery soft and I was like oh my god I could wear that with like tank tops little dresses underneath like just so many different things and it just feels like butter it's so lightweight it feels amazing like I just had to have it I love the print I think it's like kind of feminine and like cute and I just thought that I could wear it with so many different things I don't know why guys I honestly can't tell you why I just had to buy it next I picked up this oversized men's polo the brand is George and it's in like this really cute mauve color so my plan is actually to wear this as like a little dress with some air forces and a big denim jacket and I just thought that would be so cute and like so fall esque you know like a fall night out with like a little baseball cap I just thought it'd be a really cute outfit so that's why I picked this guy up next I picked up this white stag little like sweater t-shirt super duper cute right um and I love that it's like a v-neck perfect for a work day with some jeans some little booties you know just something super cute I just think this is like adorable and it like dresses up a plain t-shirt kind of look you know okay and the last item I got is this like oversized purple throw on shirt allure I don't I don't know the brand to be honest with you but it's just this oversized purple shirt kind of feels like a denim material and again I just thought this would be perfect to throw on with little outfits and wear out of the house like super simple easy accessory to put on when you need to dress up an outfit in some kind of way I live for these over shirts because they give you so much style without much effort every time I throw an over shirt over like a t-shirt and jeans look I get compliments because people are like oh your outfit looks really cute it's because you're layering and you're putting that pop of color into what would be like a pretty basic outfit right so I really love wearing those because it really does like up your style and obviously you can get them for super cheap because I got all that clothing for $16 so you know guys it was awesome and um, that is it for my haul and that's probably it for this video to be honest because I don't want it to be super duper long you guys let me know if you have been loving these vloggy style like weekend with me videos because I really have been loving filming them for you if I catch any more clips this evening while we're just hanging out I will insert them in the video but I really hope you guys have an amazing week I love you guys so 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 very much thank you for watching subscribing commenting all that good stuff you guys are honestly the bomb and I'll see you in the next one bye